Hello and welcome back to Oak Tree Farms. Just approaching 9am. As you can see it's a bit of a rainy day. So today I'm going to be looking at precision farming. While it's as it is, mid-spring I think it's going to be ideal time to pick up one of these. It's in the miscellaneous if you've got precision farming on. And all the way over. I'm going to lease it as well. I'm not going to actually buy it. This scout system. I'm going to um, lease it because I think to lease it it's around 800, something like that. 867. I've sold a couple of um, bale spikes as well because I don't need them anymore. So basically we've just got this for free, haven't we? Sold uh, 1100, just over 1100 pounds worth of stuff and bought and leased this for 867. Nice little bit of kit. try. I think it does actually test quite a big area. We'll have a look. I'll do one initially. So samples are now being sent to the lab. Let's wait for the results. So it's £100 to have that soil sample analysed, but that's been done. Yeah, so it does do quite a big, uh, a big patch. So that's good. So we only have to do about, what, four, maybe five soil samples. But nitrogen looks good. Still in the green. A little bit of a patch there. So we've got silty clay and a bit of loam. But yeah, that's not bad. I mean, the pH could do with, especially this yellow bit. I might just bring that up. The nitrogen looks all right. I think you can get away with that for now. The pH, yeah, what's that? About five and a half. I want to get it up to about six, six five. So I'm going to put a bit of fertilizer on. So what I'll do just to test this is drop this off. Go and grab my fertilizer. Hopefully we've got some left over. I don't know if we've gone out. We'll soon find out. We have, we've got just enough. All I want to do is just test this kind of area out, so let's give it a spray. And let's see what we've got with that. Yeah, so the fertilizer gets the nitrogen up. So that's good. So it looks like the field does need a bit of a fertiliser. And then when we've emptied this fertiliser, because we should be able to just do enough of the bad patches with what we've got, then we'll nip down to the shop, pick up some lime. And I will just give it a coating of lime just to get the pH up as well, so that'll sort the nitrogen and the pH. 
and we're on his way to a perfect yielded crop. Yeah, so it takes quite a lot. Um, quite a, covers quite a big area, so I'm gonna do a couple more. Send them off to the lab. See what kind of. Um, see if we need lime and fertilizer, and we'll give this field exactly what it needs. Get rid of these weeds. Let's get a couple more samples. You don't need too many because if one area of the field needs fertiliser you can kind of guarantee that the other one will as well. Do one here. And I'll just get one more in top corner and we'll send these off to the lab. Yeah, about here will do I think. There we go, get these sent off. Put this away and we'll have a look at what we've got. Right, let's take a look at this field, what we're looking at here. So, it's all kind of loam. I've obviously not done the middle bit, but it's going to be all low mint. It's a bit of silty clay in top corner. That might be the silty clay of the driveway. Um, pH is could do with lime. Yeah, it's all the same as before, so I need to fertilise it, weed it. There's some really bad areas, actually, really red. So, yeah, I think fertilise the field and lime, and we'll get this back to tip-top shape. Right, just taking a quick look at the field, let's have a look what we've got. So nitrogen's gone up, that's brilliant. I don't know what the red bits are, I'll have to try and figure that out, see it must be just some a crop I've missed, I'm not sure. The pH definitely needs doing as well, so down to the shop and pick up some lime. I'll order it now so it'll be there when I get there. I think lime's quite cheap, about 400. 450 not too bad so one thing to note it looks like lime gives you a lot more than what the other pallets do they fill you up about eight percent one lime bag does about well I don't know it's got to 33 obviously does 20 uh, 2000 which 33 I'm not quite sure it should be 34 shouldn't it if anything what's half a 33 well it's a decimal. But we're arguing over 0.5, aren't we? Come on, let's get back up there and stick some lime on this field. There's definitely some weight to this. One thing I do like about this spreader, though, that I bought the uh, Taurus is the fact that it does hold. I mean, I'm all about being money savvy. It does hold lime and fertilizer, so without having to buy two separate spreaders I've saved quite a bit of money there because what I can do is use this one to spread the fertiliser and I can use it for my contracts when I need to by putting my own 
cow fertiliser in from my own cows and when I need to I can also use it to um, I can also use it to fill with lime so I can get these fields done this should be pretty satisfying let's get this nitrogen pH all good not sure that'll get all the way across actually I need to do another pass. There you go, we'll get this field done. Well that's a total coincidence, mine's called Oak Tree Farm and the place I've bought next door is called Old Oak Farm. That is, um, that's lucky, <laughs> that's totally a coincidence, I didn't know this was called Old Oak. There you go, looks like that's a good omen that we bought this place. Oh yeah, I can see it is a bit dirtier actually. What I need to do is food, water, I haven't got a brush, so I have got a scoop, so we'll get that from loader on um, and get down to the shop. And uh, where I've ordered my uh, my bucket, and we'll get that uh, cleanliness back up. Get this water filled up front. Good to see they're all doing all right. No injuries or deaths or anything in there, which is good. Let's see how much of this takes. I've got a funny feeling it might take all of it. Seven percent left. That's all right. Must be a tire in the middle of it. Get this filled up, just so it's filled up for next time, and then we'll leave it here. Yeah, things are going well so far on the farm. I think we can see, uh, hopefully, see some good profits coming up ahead. Need to get into summer, getting ready for summer now. Start to see some decent returns on these crops. Let's get this uh, loaded back up. I think we need the front loader actually thinking about it. Sure, that's not connecting, there we go. Didn't seem to want to do it. And hopefully this will attach now and then that's the next job done. It is really uh it's a beast this thing but it does the job. It still says we've got a hundred percent but I have put some in already so I'm not sure why. Right, let's get this filled up. Let's get back in. I think it was, was it R1 triangle? Oh, yeah. There we go. Hard to take anything, so it's ideal really. We're still at 87%.
And that's that job done. So there we go. Looks like they're all um, good. What I'm going to do is nip down, pick all this up, chuck it back in. That should get the cleanliness back up. Yeah, just about 100% water, 100% straw. Food's looking good, it's just the cleanliness, but I will just put that cleanliness, um, I'll clean up and just pour it straight back in. I might actually buy a few more cows. I'm going to also nip down to the autumn wood farm on my way down just to see if they have put any milk down there for me. Let's go and have a look. Down at autumn wood having a look. I don't really, I don't know if you buy autumn wood, whether you get all this straw and hay, that'll be good. Can't see any milk, so got a feeling get these lights off, got a feeling it might not have put anything down here yet. I think the only thing we've got is that bit of manure that we saw at the old place. Can't see no milk anywhere actually. No, I think it's just a case of getting down to the shop and picking up that bucket so we can get us cleanliness up. No milk yet. We'll keep going. Right, let's get this attached. Hello. I'm just going to do a bit of a few tricks with my tractor just to show off. There you go, you see, just showing off. Let's get back and get tidy. Them cows aren't going to clean themselves, unfortunately. Notice these as well on this tractor ride, looks like they're having the time of their life, you can't really see it for the trees, there you go, and that looks so much fun, living the dream, let's get back. Hopefully that's all picked up now, we'll have a look at cleanliness, yep, 100% cleanliness, water, straw, everything's back to just about 100%. Get rid of this bucket because don't need this attached now. Great demand at Blue Jacket Dairy, well, it'd be nice if I could get some, uh, get some milk from these airshers. This requires a lot of feed up front but produces the most milk. So I think we're going to buy a couple of these because I do want to start seeing what we can get for the milk. So we'll just start with four. Confirm. Let's go and have a look at them. Because that's took a lot of money. Need to start getting some of this money back. They've all just gathered in one little area. their bumping heads. I'm not sure why some of them have changed colour. I mean I did buy all airshers so I'm not sure why. Are they, are they different colours? The airshers are black and brown. It seems to be making friends that one with everybody. It's lovely to see. That one nearly uh, trampled me. I'm gonna get out of here. I've not got a death wish. We'll see what uh, see what kind of milk they produce. 
But I'm all done here now. We'll get to, we'll get locked up. That does look like it's gone down a little bit again, though. I'll just have one more quick look. Yeah, water and straw's gone down again because I've bought some more, hasn't it? So I'm just going to get that top back up, and then I'll meet you back at my um, at my home. I'm just gonna um, jump out, head back home. It's uh, approaching three o'clock, so I'm just gonna go and grab some dinner. I think feed Sam, make sure he's all right. Hey, up, buddy, where are you going? Here, have some snap. Enjoy. Right, I'm going to go in and get some dinner. And then we'll get on with the rest of his evening. Had a quick look round field to have a look at what my levels are. Now I've done precision farming for the first time. As you can see at bottom, pH value okay, nitrogen okay. I'll take that for my first go. I'm going to nip down to the shop again and pick up something to get rid of these weeds. And then um, I'm going to loan it and hopefully pick up a couple of contracts as well just to do this evening. Get a bit of money and ready for tomorrow. You can see a couple of weeds in other fields so... I'm hoping if I get this weed I'll be able to pick up some contracts and make the money back on it so it'll be practically for free. We'll get down to the shop and then we'll have a look at contracts, see what's available. Right, which one do I want? I've not got a massive field, but obviously if I pick up contracts it's nicer to uh, get it done as quickly as possible. I do like the Robert, I've tried this one before, it is really good. does it quite quickly as well. That one sows at the same time if you want to do the seeds. I think I might stick with the one that I know. We always want the third row of teeth, don't we? Just makes it a little bit better. I'm going to lease it again, £805. No point buying it, we'll get it for around 24 hours. Should be enough to pick up some contracts and do what we need to do. I think you lose a bit too much money, just me personally, if you're buying things like this, just to then leave them until we get this first crop done and we can start affording to keep all these sort of items. I'm just going to lease them and build my bank balance up first. Let's get back up home and do his first uh, lot of weeding. You know what, I keep driving past this, I think I've earned it, I'm going to have a pint in beer garden. Let's go and have a try one at local ales out. Well, 
Well, I were there longer than expected, actually. It's quarter past five, but that were a nice little stop off. Just started raining, so that's the end of the beer garden dream. Let's get back and get these weeds pulled up. But yeah, nice little pub that. For a half pint shandy, might get down later in taxi and drink for real. I'm just going to get this unfolded, get it lowered and get these weeds picked up and this field should be pretty much perfect then. Perfect, put we one pass. Lift it up. I don't know if that's the last one. There's now there's some more up here. Take care of these. Have a quick look at field, make sure it's uh, all weeds are gone. Yep. I mean, that's not great ploughing, is it? But it's his first field. Let's have a look what we've got in contracts. Fertilising. Nearly £14,000. Fertilising. So it's all fertilising. So I'll get this put away for now. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day there at that one. It's just approaching 6 o'clock, getting a little bit late now. It's going to be dark within the next couple of hours. I've got too much lime in my fertiliser, so I want to get rid of the lime um, before I can take up these fertilising contracts. So first thing in the morning, I'll try and get rid of the lime somewhere, ring around some con contacts, see if any of them want the lime. Try and get rid of that, fill it up with fertiliser and we'll start getting some money back and hopefully by tomorrow morning, fingers crossed, we should start seeing some growth because some flowers are well on the way now. I mean they only need 7 degrees to start growing. We are at 8 so I think we should be starting to look at some sort of... Um, growth on them soon i'm also going to look i may take out another loan tomorrow and start gr growing some corn because it's coming up to that the field behind me looks quite nice which is i think it's field what were it one at 108 so if i can buy 108 get that plowed or actually thinking about it try and buy a field that's already been planted would be good um like these they're already growing aren't they yeah i'll have a look at What's 105? 49,000. And it's right next to my farm and it's already apparently been planted. So yeah, tomorrow I think we might look at something like that, get another field on board. But for now, thank you for watching episode 3. And I'll catch you all on the next one.
Maybach.